Last, last night, a 19-year-old Seaton man was fatally stabbed at his home address at 38 Gary Avenue at Seaton. Um, we know that at about 10.20 p.m. or shortly before that, just before that, um, the power to the house was switched off and he went outside to investigate and it was immediately set upon by at least one person. Uh, we know that after the event that the offender exited by the same route he came in, around the corner into Kerry and then exited the same way um, and we know he was last seen in Matthews Avenue. Um, there is CCTV but the CCTV is not capable of identifying anybody at all and that image isn't suitable for release. Um, the people at the house have all been cooperating with us and we're getting cooperation from everybody at the moment um, and we're working towards building a picture of this person's life, of the victim's life, what was happening in his life. Um, if we had any conflicts with anybody, and we're hoping that that will help us to establish a way forward and perhaps firm up on motives and who might be responsible. Do you have any take Are the only uh, one suspects you're hunting? Or? Uh, the truth of it is that we don't know yet, but we know that at least one person was responsible for this happening. As to whether anybody else was involved, it's too early to speculate. And is there any information to suggest he may have been at the pub beforehand in the moments leading up to coming home or he was at home all night? Um, we know the victim went to the hotel for a very short time. There's nothing at this stage to prove that anything connected with that visit is connected with his death. But again, it's early days, we don't know. Would you describe that scenario as an ambush? Yeah, I think it's fair to say that um, this was a pre-planned um, attack and um, it was an ambush in the sense that switching the power off lured him outside, the person was armed, he was waiting um, and he unleashed a um, furious attack on the victim. We can see some objects along the street today, we're just wondering if they've got anything to do with the weapon. Uh, we don't know yet. Like, we, we always, when we do these searches, we end up seizing lots of things, anything we find on the streets, in front yards, um, we collect it, we take it, and you know whether anything we seize is connected um, remains to be seen. Um, we collect a lot more things from around scenes than what we actually use and what's evidential. Well, the others told us they found the police found a knife. I won't comment about anything about um, what's been recovered and what hasn't in case it's not involved. Do you, do you know what type of weapon was used, whether it was a large knife or a, can you tell us anything about the weapon? Um, certainly, um, the, the knife was obviously something quite large. Um, we know that from the injuries to the victim. Friends of the victim have told us it's not uh, I just have to check and make sure that the victim's family has been advised. Is, were there anyone else inside? How many were inside, sorry? The house? Well, se several people at the house. Um, but as I said, all of those people are cooperating with us and all of those people went to the aid of the victim, um, as did the um, attending police and the ambulance did everything possible um, to save his life. But sadly, he succumbed to his injuries. Do you have details of where he was stabbed, stomach, or how many times that... Uh, I'll just say that he was stabbed multiple times and it was clear from the wounds he suffered that it was a deliberate attempt to kill him. And did this, this happen outside, correct? Yes. And outside, the, we know the location around where he was when... In his front yard. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it. Switch off, August.